What's up guys? This is uh, Jordan Nathan Gilbert from Cloud9 CSGO. I came to give you guys today a little BenQ settings on my monitor. I got my BenQ XL 2420Z. I, I have the new one at home. I'm not sure if this is the newest one, but we're here at a boot camp. The monitor runs excellently. I think I've used BenQ even since before they had 144 hertz. So this isn't me just being full sellout. This is me always supporting the product that I love, which that might sound a little sellouty, but you know how you guys like to me to be honest in my videos. So now I'm gonna honestly show you my settings. Let's go to the video settings right now. Hit menu here. We'll start out by going to picture. Well actually let's see what let's see what profile I'm on. Let's make sure I'm on my own profile here. Uh, display mode's full, we're good there. Yeah, everything's set. So go down to uh, picture, brightness, keep that at hundred, contrast at fifty, it knows me already. Contrast at 50, low blue light is off. But the, blue, the thing about blue light, which is good, is if you want to turn it on, I use gunners at home a lot, but what blue light does is make it so you don't need a product like gunners. Essentially, blue light is the most harmful uh, type of light to your eye. So blue light can essentially cause the most eye damage. What BenQ did here was a really health conscious move to add low blue light as a future, because like I said, it's the most damaging to your cornea. If you screwed on to black equalizer, black equalizer basically is a setting that I mess with based on what map we're playing. So if we're playing a darker map where I don't want to have my brightness too high, I essentially turn the black equalizer up because the dark corners where um, I don't want to have to turn my contrast up and have everything like whitewash. Black equalizer makes those darker spots brighter without compromising the color of the screen. We'll come back into the settings. Go down, blur reduction I keep off, color temperature user mode. AMA, I turn this to premium, um, and then I go down to instant mode, and I have instant mode on, make sure everything's crisp as possible, sharpness at 5, um, some people like Shroud over here likes to use, um, what do you use, 12 on sharpness, 10? 12, yeah. He goes up to 12, yeah, so it's, it's kind of preference based on, you can look at it and mess with it. Going over to picture mode, this is where I normally make sure I'm, I'm on standard, FPS is really good for Counter-Strike, but standard, um, it's just something I've gotten used to. Let's see, and we're there. Okay, so one, you're gonna normally wanna set this first because it might change some other settings for you. But basically, once that's set, make sure I'm on full, go back here, and I think I'm good to go. The final step here is gonna be my NVIDIA settings, but as long as my brightness and contrast is set, everything on uh, my monitor is good. Once I go into NVIDIA options, I'm here, the first thing I like to look at is aspect ratio. In game, I make sure that I'm playing on black bars. It's an old school habit of mine to play on a 4x3 rather than a 16:9 resolution. So the main reason I use a 4x3 aspect ratio is just because everything's more in front of my face. Uh, even though full screen looks nicer, we're competing at a high level and I like to do what's most comfortable for me. So playing at a lower resolution is actually part of my comfort zone. On desktop though, you see right here, I am using 1920 by 1080 with 144 hertz. I like to max out the refresh rate. Um, but what I do here is I go to perform, perform scaling on GPU, so that when I'm in game, the GPU actually works harder to, to make sure that the gameplay is smoother. Come up here to adjust desktop color settings, I like to turn up my digital vibrance, make everything all nice and colorful. After that, I go into my manage 3D settings, and basically make sure that vertical sync is off, and my quality settings are right. So here I'll just set it to single display performance mode since I'm only using one monitor. You might want something, you might want to keep that default if you're using multiple monitors. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance because, you know, when you got a sponsor like NVIDIA, I like to pump my video card to the max. I'm using full power at all times. So I make sure that, you know, I have a, I have a good GeForce card on hand at all times. Then you scroll down here, texture filter quality, and set of higher performance, I've always just used that. I don't know all the details, I'm not a technician, but it seems to work the best for me. And then vertical sync off. And that's it for my settings, guys. Thanks for watching this video. This is sponsored and brought to you by BenQ and Team Cloud9. This video is brought to you by G2A.com.